Hey folks, welcome to Science Lab. Today we're going to learn about chemical reactions. I'm going to wear my lab goggles for safety. So the first thing to learn about is properties of substances. A property of a substance is a characteristic of that substance. So for example, I have water here. Water is a colorless, odorless liquid at room temperature. It freezes at zero degrees Celsius and it boils at 100 degrees Celsius. Um, as another example, I have here some citric acid. This is a substance that dissolves in water. It's sort of a yellowish brownish color right now and um, it is acidic. All right, so now that we know some properties of substances, let's talk about uh, different changes that we can make to them. You can make either physical or chemical changes to a substance. A physical change is something that does not change the identity of the substance. It might change what it looks like though. So let's look at this water here. This is currently in sort of a, a cylinder shape because it's in a cylindrical container. If I pour it into a round container, I have changed the form of the water. So now it's in sort of a, a half circle shape overall when it used to be in a cylindrical shape. It's still water, right? The identity of the substance has not changed. If I froze this, it would still be H2O. It would still be water, even though it's not liquid water. So boiling or freezing is another example of a physical change. A chemical change does change the identity of the substance. Uh, what you start with in a chemical change are called your reactants because they are going to react together. And what you end up with are called your products. Um, sort of like in math, where if you're multiplying two things, the answer is called your product. In chemistry, start with reactants, end up with products. Let's talk about uh, some signs that a chemical reaction is happening. There are four main ones that you should be looking for. The first one is color change. So if your, if your reaction changes color, you know that there's probably a new liquid that has been produced. And what's happening is the atoms of your first substance and the atoms of your second substance, your reactants, are going to interact with each other and they're going to form a new substance. So let's take a look at the color change. We're starting off with sort of a bluish purple color. I'm going to add some citric acid and give it a stir. And it immediately turns sort of a orangish red color. That's a good sign that a chemical reaction is happening. Now it's turning green and now it's turning staying green for a while, but it is slowly turning kind of bluish again. So that's a good indication that we had a new liquid forming in our beaker. Um, if I added dye to water, it's not quite the same thing. Even though we're changing the color of the water, the color of that dye was already there. So it's not really forming a new substance. It's just kind of mixing in with um, the water. So color change one way to know that a chemical reaction is happening. Uh, the second one is the formation of a precipitate. A precipitate uh, or precipitate is a new solid that forms. So I'm going to look at two liquids here. We have um, lead nitrate and this one is potassium iodide. I'm going to take a little bit of the potassium iodide and add it to the lead nitrate. Here's my red liquid. We're going to add it to the stuff. So that yellow that forms, if we gave it some time, it's going to settle out because it is in fact a solid. And if you watch one of our earlier videos and you wait for it, you can actually watch the solid pieces fall down to the bottom like the, these are doing. You might notice we also had a color change. So a reaction might have more than one of these um, indications. Uh, it probably won't have all of them, but at least one of them. You can see the yellow stuff is settling to the bottom. So that is a precipitate, the formation of a new solid. Um, the next one we're going to look at is bubbles. 
So here I have acetic acid, another clear liquid, and sodium bicarbonate, a sort of white fluffy powder. And what I'm going to do is take some of that acetic acid and add it to the sodium bicarbonate. So there's two things actually that are going to happen here, and I'll describe the second one. So we're adding in that acid. Woo! And it's bubbling up and it's foaming. So what's happening is a new gas is forming. Bubbles are a sign of a new gas. The other thing that's happening that you can't tell in a video is that this was room temperature and now it feels quite cold. So what's happening there is the reaction is absorbing energy. Um, some reactions give off energy and in that case it might feel hotter than when you started. So those four things again, color change, formation of a new solid or a precipitate, bubbles, And finally, temperature change. Those are four ways you know that a chemical reaction is probably happening. Thank you for listening, and if you have any questions,